So uh, tonight I thought I'd elevate the uh, the style of the show by having something sort of literary and very graduate school. You don't mind, do you? See, uh, this we'll will stop you, you know. from going to graduate school. Um, uh, Terry, oh, Singleton, no. Terry Singleton no. said that we've reached the end oh, of literature. No. Everything's being no. deconstructed. There was a certain no. canon of literature when I grew up. Uh, T.S. Eliot was hot shit, you know, and the world's greatest poet. And, uh, <clears throat> but uh, what's taught as literature and what's accepted as literature in our society is a product of time and place, 19th century England and America, and a bunch of uh, upper class white men determined what was literature and what wasn't. Yeah, right on. So that, for instance, <laughs> uh, when film came, and film is certainly an art, there was no place for it, so there's very little of film as ever discussed in, every, uh, in any uh, college literature courses, or until now, anyway. So, uh, Bearing that in mind, yes. uh, I, I have, uh, <coughs> I, I, I would also like to expose the rest of the literature trade, and here are one dozen little-known anti-literary facts. All right. <laughs> there were some footnotes here, but that's okay. One, T.S. Eliot yes. was Jewish. Interesting. Oh, no. You didn't know that. But you thought he was an anti-Semite, which he was. Okay. No, just people's middle names aren't usually Jewish. No, no. Uh, Amy Lowell yes. liked to smoke cigars made from cigarette butts she found in the streets of Boston. Right. Near Everyone the combat knows song. that. Everyone knows that. Is, that is Gross. well known. No, only the first. Two. All right. Three, Dylan Thomas died of drinking 17 <laughs> strawberry malteds. Why? without stopping <coughs> and his nickname in heaven is Zimmy <laughs> uh, no. No. this is all true Walt Whitman was a secretly practicing heterosexual <laughs> Homer's Iliad was really written by Iliad and Shakespeare's plays were written by someone else who had the same name. Seven. That makes sense. Henry Miller actually hated sex. Yes, huh. I think that's common knowledge. That is. And he hated the tropics too. He hated the tropics. Yeah. yeah. And he hated uh, he hated going without lunch. That's right. That was most important. Puts it on serve the tropics. Yeah, that's first. Which came first, the, chi the uh, chicken on. or the sex? Uh, Shalom Alechem's real name was Salam Alek. <laughs> see, that's, you have to know languages. You see, Shalom Alechem means peace be with you in Hebrew. And Salam Alek is peace be with you in Arabic. Unbelievable. Nine, the secret of Ernest Hemingway's extreme virility was boiled organic steel cut oat bran from the upper peninsula of Michigan. Did you know that? No. Uh, I believe it though. Ten. This is very few people really know this, but it's important. <laughs> Jackson Pollock's paintings are really writings. Oh, oh. I like that. I like that. Big recognition factor yeah. there. And uh Napoleon could cut a book in half with a single saber stroke. No. And last, but probably least, no, not no, actually, unless you're not. Uh, <laughs> first five books of the Bible are a forgery. 